I like to show people the things they see every day, but they don't notice. But as, as an artist, it's more than uh, just showing it. I want to show it in a beautiful light. You know, I don't have a political or social agenda as much as an aesthetic one. And yes, it's, it's true though, that, I, you know, that the work has a, a social conscience, conscience to it. But it's also important for me that it be aesthetically pleasing because uh, you know, that I feel is my role as an artist to make beautiful pictures. Uh, you know, I have my, uh, my lights, the tripod, assistant. So it's, it's, for me, it's no different working in the streets than working in the studio. Uh, because, uh, you know, I'm controlling the light. Uh, I'm, I'm controlling everything except the model. I let the models express themselves and be who they are. Yeah, they're very patient. They understand uh, the job. The job is to pose, and a lot of times they have to wait until we set up the lights and test the lights and test the Polaroids. So they're extremely professional uh, and, and, and know how to, you know, they, they know how to pose, which means that they ignore me. Uh, I'm receiving uh, similar answers, mostly uh, the same in the sense that, yes, uh, they all say yes, but more in New York than here, because here we have some people, Romanians or people who maybe are undocumented, and so they, they're the ones who are cautious and say no. But I, I would think I have uh, 75 or 80 percent success with people saying yes. I think they, they say yes because they understand I'm serious, I'm an artist, I, I feel something for them and I, I want to show them in the best light possible. And so I think they understand my sincerity as an artist and that's partially why they say yes. Of course, uh, the money helps too. I see homeless in Brussels, but I, see, I saw homeless a lot of homeless, more than ever, in New York last year when I did the residents of New York. And then I went to Paris and I see a lot of homeless in Paris. So I see a lot of homeless everywhere. I'm sure if I go to Greece, if I go to Spain, I will see a lot of homeless there. Uh, so it's not only Brussels, it's, uh, it's worldwide. You know, it's a condition of the times, uh, a very sad condition. The difference, I think, between here, New York, or Brussels, or uh, New York, as far as the homeless are concerned, is that uh, there, are more, uh, there are more gypsies, there are more people almost performing on the streets here. They, they present themselves a certain way, either they're begging, or they, they, they're on their knees, or the women with the children. In New York, you never see women with children because they don't allow that. So here, you see another kind of homeless, uh, and, and it's almost a more extreme version of it, uh, and more dramatic and theatrical. You know, some, some, someone might say, well, you got a lot of gypsy women, you, you have a lot of Romanians, uh, but I, you know, I'm photographing what I see. If, if, if there's a lot of uh, gypsies in my pictures, it's because there's a lot of gypsies in Brussels. So, uh, you know, for me, it's about not so much about you know about what I create but also about what I find and so this is what I find I, I use a Mamiya RB67 and I've been using this camera for about 25 years uh, I, I like using the same equipment you know it's like part of me the models change the ideas change but the artist and the camera stay the same. And so even though I, I don't feel that uh, I do it with a political agenda, I, I do have a social consciousness and it comes across uh, in the work. 
Uh, for me, though, the work is about humanity, and uh, you know, and it's good when an artist can address that. <laughs>